Okay, so we're at the hospital now. It's 20 till 9. We've been here since 6 a.m. <clears throat> they brought us in, got us hooked up, but they had to try several times on my IV. I think like six times literally before they got it right because my veins just kept blowing out. So that was painful. But now I finally have a IV over here in my left arm. And then I've got the blood pressure cuff over here on my right arm. They just started Pitocin about 15 minutes ago. They start off at a low dose and then they'll speed it up a little bit. Um, and the doctor said he would be here around lunchtime to break my water. So I'm guessing we'll have a baby around 4.30, 5 p.m., somewhere around there. But we're just hanging out in the room. Josh is over there. Are you excited? I'm excited. Yes, I am. I'm more excited you finally got the IV and that was Me too, that brutal. was terrible. Man, I needed to see that. Now my Pitocin machine is going off again. We just got done FaceTiming the girls. <clears throat> They're excited. They all just woke up not too long ago. So, I guess I'll update later. It's 15 till 10 and she's got her epidural. The nurses are in here to check on her. First came in just now. And, uh, kind of put the camera down and see what was going on but she's doing good she's resting um got the epidural probably about 20 or 30 minutes ago yeah everything went pretty good with that so far <clears throat> she's more than uh feeling it more on her right side than left side but she's doing pretty good got great nurses here uh, we're just playing the waiting game all right, so here we are, about 12.30. Hmm? It's 12.25. 12.25, and um, Doc just came in and broke her water, um, and she broke the monitors. We have no monitors, so that's okay. They'll get it fixed. I'm trying to fix it, hopefully. How do you feel? Good. Good. You look good. Mm -hmm. There you do. You look good. She looks good. Don't she look good? She looks good. Yeah, perfect. Good job. Good job. 
Mama did good. A lot better than I was. Mama did good. Had a, had a little scare with the medicine, but God worked it out with people and had some folks praying, and God worked it out. Mm -hmm. I feel much better now. We're excited. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and baby girl is healthy. So good morning again, y'all. It is now the next day. It's Thursday morning. It's like five till eight. I finally got to get in the shower. I was hoping to get in the shower last night, but after the epidural and then they gave me like another little dose of it right before I had her, it took me much longer to get up out of bed. So they didn't let me get a shower last night. I had to, oh, goodness gracious. Um, I had to wait till this morning to get in the shower, but I was able to get up and walk last night at midnight and go to the bathroom and all that stuff. So I'm doing good now. My face is still puffy and swollen from all the fluids and the Pitocin and all of that from yesterday. But for the most part, I'm feeling good. Baby is doing great. She did so good through the night. I mean, she slept a pretty good bit. Only woke up a couple times for a diaper change and to eat and she's doing great. And here is baby girl. Say good morning. They still have not gave her a bath yet. She offered last night around midnight. Um, but I told her it's okay. Just wait until the morning because she was sleeping so good. So they should be around soon to give oh, big yum. They should be around soon to give her her first bath. And then I'll get her dressed. And then I will do her name reveal. We'll share baby girl's name. Yeah. She is just too precious, y'all. Like, look at all this hair up here. I know it's not like a ton, but it's more than a lot of our babies had. She's got this beautiful dark hair. Look at that. She's just absolutely precious. I love her so much. But poor Josh, he had to sleep over there in that hard chair, so he didn't get good rest last night. I mean, I didn't sleep the best, but I slept better than I thought I would being the first night with a newborn. So he just left. He's going to get um, some coffee for both of us this morning, which I'm excited about because I didn't drink coffee yesterday morning or eat anything before I came to the hospital, so I'm excited about the coffee. Hopefully they'll be in soon to give her her bath, and then I'll get to share her name with y'all. I lose my breath whenever I see you You stole my heart, what is it that you do? Some of you had already guessed it in the comments. 
and that's her name and it just fits her so perfect I think um, it's actually 615 already in the evening so she was born a little over 24 24 hours ago um, they are about to take her back and do her hearing screen a couple of other things and as long as she passes all those tests they're gonna let us go home tonight which is exciting because we really want to get home to the other girls and sleep in her own bed tonight but anyway she just came and got her while I was in the middle of talking so she just took her back for her hearing screen all of that it's just a few minutes till 6 30 so as long as she passes that we're gonna go home um, the girls like so want us home they cannot wait to meet their baby sister Josh left to take the girls some food and to pick up our van because the van has the car seat in it so he's on his way back to the hospital now he's gonna bring the car seat up we'll get it adjusted and all of that stuff once she gets back from her test and hopefully we'll be out of here by 8 8 15 p.m i'm hoping i'm hoping we get to um they said if she didn't pass all of her tests we would have to stay again tonight so hopefully she passes them but anyway i figured that would be it for our labor and delivery vlog overall everything went great it, you know i had the episode yesterday where um the epidural kind of made my blood pressure drop and i was kind of out of it and then them having to stick me seven times with an IV. but other than that i'm very thankful for a good labor good delivery that baby turned and that baby is healthy um i thank all of you for your prayers because i know that y'all have been praying for millie and myself and our whole family and i appreciate that but anyway i'm going to talk to y'all later if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button down below give this video a thumbs up and i will talk to you in the comments bye